Hi guys, we're back with another tutorial and this week we're going to be doing the 360 turning kick, otherwise known as the tornado kick. So if you want to do this kick properly, I suggest that you go and watch the tutorial for the spinning kick first. There's a link to it here. This kick is pretty much executed exactly the same up to a point and then we have to go even further but the basics are the same, but I'll run through that now anyway. The most important thing about this kick is that you turn around on your feet enough for you to be able to get your hip, hip in for when you actually throw the kick. I.e., if you, if you do the jump too soon, it may look something like this, where you haven't got your body around enough to actually throw the kick. What you want to be able to do is to spin around enough so that from here all you have to do is lift that knee up and throw the kick. My kicking leg is at the front and from this position what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this foot like so as if I'm going to do the back kick as if I'm going to do a spinning kick from here. I'm turning like this and then what I want to do is I want to bring my knee all the way to the front. So from here, with the toes pointing that way, I've gone all the way, 360, round to the other side, and my knee is up, and my body is completely facing Bob. Yeah, it's not here like this, facing you guys, I'm facing Bob. Now all I've got to do from this position is just jump up off that foot and bring the turning kick into effect. So from here, I'm just jumping and kicking, and you'll see that that hip all the way to the front and this foot the heel is turned around yeah so that's the very simple way to do this kick from here I'm turning and I'm spinning and I'm waiting until I'm facing Bob and only then do I execute the turning kick or the round kick I'm going to kick with the instep of my foot or the shin yeah so from here I turn and I kick and you can see that my hip has come all the way to the front. From here I turn and I kick. So I'm doing a couple of skips really. I'm going to turn and do a little skip like that and then I kick. The reason is this floor is a little bit sticky, it tends to grab your, your, your feet and you can't, it stops you from spinning. So I recommend starting from here and then coming around kick in. You can see that my foot, it skips around a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. But the most important part of this kick, in order to do it properly, is that I don't kick too soon. I wait, I wait, I wait. This would be the wrong place to throw that kick. I'm, I'm too far away, my hip's too far away. Wait, wait, wait till you get all the way to facing and then just jump up and kick, like so. Again, like other spinning kicks, the first thing I want to do is turn my head, okay? Where the head turns, the body will follow. So that's your very first thing, is as you step, you're looking. I'm always looking where I'm gonna kick. I'm never ducking my head down, never taking my eyes off my opponent. I'm going to look exactly where I want to kick. So the sooner I can get around, the better. Where the head turns, the body will follow. Also, I'm going to use my elbows. So the head turns, and then the elbows, that's really giving me the torque. And then when I'm, when I'm turned around enough facing Bob, then I'm going to do the jump. And really important as well, is that I bring this knee up. I'm pointing my knee to where I want to kick. So from here, head, Elbow, point in the knee, wait, when I'm facing Bob, jump up, throw the kick. I teach you from this position is 
see, if I make him think it's a spinning hook kick, then maybe he's just going to move back a little bit, wait for the, put, the foot to pass, and then he's going to come in with whatever technique he wants to throw. He thinks you're doing a spinning hook, but actually you've disguised your tornado kick. You can even set them up with a back kick, find a few back kicks, what's coming, or I set him up with a spin kick. And that's when this can really work. But I would suggest that when you do this kick, that you travel a little bit. You have to cover some distance because most probably he's going to be moving back. So it's better to be able to do it from here. He thinks you're going to spin kick and then you throw that kick, but I'm moving towards where he is. Here. Covering that distance. He's a bit tall, this Bob. Now, if you want to do this and get more height and make it more of a performance kick, then I would suggest starting from here and taking a step in like so. I'm really using this, this momentum here to spin yourself around, but also push off this leg to give me some more height. So from here, I can step in, I'm winding up, I'm completely telegraphing it, but this is not for fighting, this is just for fun. And as I step, I'm using my arms, and I come round into this position, but you see how much I've used my arms now, and I point my knee at the target, and then I can jump nice and high, and pull that kick off. So from here, we step again. You catch them right. You can most definitely break their ribs with this kick. Very powerful kick. Shin on the neck. Evolution.